your fighter and you guys will be coming back. You guys are going to be fighting the yeah. undefeated uh, Trevor uh, McCum McCumby. Um, mm -hmm. what, what do you think about that fight? Trevor's undefeated. Um, looks like he's what? Let me see what kind of a KO artist is he. Uh, he's 31 a big years, KO artist. 31 years old with a 75% KO ratio. Six feet tall. Seen him in person. Um, Caleb had a lot to say. I was at the press conference. Beautiful press conference, by the way, in L.A. What do you think about uh, Trevor? Good fighter. Yeah. Good fighter. Uh, I respect all guys. I'm away from my family. I'm away in camp. So we're putting in work because uh, cause of the respect that we have for him. You know, yeah. regardless of what Caleb say, you got to take a guy serious because he has two hands. And he's coming to fight, and he doesn't know how to lose. So you always have to be uh, be mindful of a guy like that. Um, uh, Caleb said I do a lot question, of the press conference. Yeah, I do. You know, uh, I, thought I, was I wonder. Say, this. say that again. Caleb had a lot to say in the in the press conference. I thought I was going to see you there. No, yeah, I, I went home. Because, uh, uh, hey, hey, Drace, do your form shooting. I'll be right over. Um, I had one home because um, uh, the fight got postponed. So I had to go home and take care of some family business, do some things. Plus, man, being in Vegas all that time, bro, that takes a toll on you. So I went home. I'm actually going back next week. I'm actually going back on Monday. So, um, so what, but, what does that, now that I'll stop you right there, what does that feel like? You know what I mean? You guys were supposed to be on the main event card. I think it was like on the, and now you guys, it got postponed. And now you guys are what? Co-main event in this card? Or no, co-co-main event? Because Danny Garcia and Laura are probably co-main event, right? Um, It don't feel like nothing to me, man. I don't care. Big um, stage? Yeah. What I mean by that is like, I don't get like, rather, do I rather fight in Florida or LA or Vegas. I don't get into all of that, man. I, I got a one track mind. I'm like a psycho when it comes down to training. We just train. I don't get into that. Uh, as far as I know, the pay didn't change. So whatever. We're going to just keep it going. Um, right. um, but I respect Trevor Montgomery. I do wonder why. Like I looked at his box rec and I re he had my old cut man. So my cut man is Mike Rodriguez that I use. I don't use him with Caleb, but I, I, cause I so I remember hearing about Trevor McCumbie when he was uh, um, a prospect. Like Mike used to be like, yo, man, I got this white kid. He punches pretty hard, blah, blah, blah. And then that was like 14 years ago. And then I just noticed like he never really stepped up. He just started fighting 10-round fights a couple fights ago. So yeah, I do I'm wonder. At it through too, yeah. Yeah, I do wonder like what happened with him as far as, like, his progress is concerned, because he was with Top Rank. Top Rank got good matchmakers. They really know what they were doing. And um, so I don't understand how you could have this many fights and still be, like, was fighting eight-rounders all that time. Like, bro, I never even had the luxury to do that with my guys. Like, once they got to, like, once my guys got to six or seven and oh, they had to fight six-rounders. Once yeah, they got yeah. to like 11 and 0, they had to fight eight rounders. Once they got to 13, 14 and 0, they was fighting 10 rounds. I never seen matchmaking like that in my whole life. Like, dude was like 24 and 0 before he fought a 10 round fight. So I don't and, know and, what, yeah. what, what would happen with that. See, I look at the he little got two thing. 10 rounders. He got two 10 rounders in 28 fights. In 28 fights. And what I what's what's catching me right now, a shitload of first round knockouts. You know what I yeah, mean? I, I padded, don't. A lot of padded records. I see a guy that I know, you know, uh, Fabio uh, Pena. Now, he was a former uh, Olympian back in the days. So I don't Coming know. Up into the weight. I got to uh, watch him. I got to, like, I don't know. I know he has some PED issues. Uh, he got suspended yep, for yep. PEDs. So Caleb I don't really know. That. It's hard for me to get a gauge on him because his progression as a fighter just got like thrown off somewhere. Something happened with him, or maybe his people didn't have confidence. Something happened. You know, top rank, yeah. top rank is not going to just give up or walk away from, I don't want to bring race into it, but a big punching white kid that's undefeated. I knew you were going to say that. That's a, that's a, you know, but you're, you're curious kid. to figure out what happened, huh? Yeah, I am curious. Like, what happened? Like, how come this guy's not a star or we don't already know what he is? He's almost like a prospect, almost like a 24-year-old guy. So, 
I'm not criticizing them, but I do wonder what happened. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a confidence thing. Some guys don't like to step up. Maybe something happened behind the scenes. I don't know. But when I study a fighter, I do look at that and I just be like, God damn. You know what I mean? That's kind of strange. Especially when I got a kid like Karan Davis who got fast tracked. He won nationals three times. Yeah. They threw his yeah. ass in the ring, man. You know, so when I see this guy fight like that, I'm like, wow, he got he was he got some privileged matchmaking, man. The guys that he fought. You know what I mean? So but I'm taking them serious, and Caleb is taking them serious, and um, expect a really good fight, man. You know, both guys got a lot on the line, and uh, that's the way I like it. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, what, what's your like, you know, predictions on it? I think Caleb gonna take him in deep waters and drown him. Mm. That's what it looks like. That's what we train him for. Yep, that's what it looks like. The experience, the experience alone. We're going to take him in deep waters, deep, deep waters, and stick his head under the water. That's the plan. Take him in deep waters. Take him to a place. People can say what they want about Caleb, but he's been in rough. He knows what it's like to come back to the corner and, 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 and know he didn't win a few rounds. He knows what that's like. He knows what that's like to be in the ring with monsters. So um, we're going to take him there. We're going to take him to that place, and we're going to see if he can handle it, you know? Seemed like one of his toughest before, um opponents you know he went the distance after 10 uh you know christopher pearson um chris pearson don't know is a high middleweight though a junior middleweight. Is yeah. junior middleweight i I know chris pearson chris pearson was signed with pbc back in the day he was signed with yeah. mayweather promotions i know chris pretty good chris was training in philly up bozy's gym chris is a junior middleweight no disrespect but that's a junior middleweight look yeah. at chris pearson's box record you can see his fights 